after the longest stage of the rally yesterday, a fast one today, but still with challenging navigation, especially near the end as the riders and drivers finished the last of the Moroccan stages. In total today, 592 kilometers with 404 kilometers of time stage between Fort Chacal and Lacra. On two wheels, a word on the Motul Extreme rider with another stage victory for the category leader. Nicolas Botu took some wrong turns today but still won his third stage of the week in the Mal Moto category. It feels like Chiruti, Tares and Boturi have signed a non-compete contract. Since Tuesday, it's been the same band of brothers in the top three places every day. Today, the race leader Chiruti was third. He stayed alert all day so as to not get lost but was riding at an immense speed of 150 km an hour with no nav issues to speak of. It was a great day. Not too challenging, thankfully. The navigation was still a bit complex. We rode together at a good pace, not taking any risks. The stage was really fast, not too difficult physically, and tomorrow we rest. Paul Tarez seems to be wedded to second place. That's four out of five this week and has today taken back second in the GC from Baturi. His right foot is still bothering him, but he'd rather just not know what's wrong. Instead, the Andorran is gritting his teeth, resting up in Dakla and hoping it feels better for the sands of Mauritania. On the top step of the podium today, Alessandro Boturi takes his second victory of the week. He took off third this morning and the Italian put his foot down to catch up the two in front. After a week of racing, Boturi, two-time winner in 2019 and 20, is looking forward to resting tomorrow before heading into Mauritania. The stage was really fast. Paul pushed really hard. It was difficult to catch the other two up. I got to Jacopo and Paul about 20 kilometers before the finish, so I won the stage, but it was Paul that really deserved it today. In the rankings today, a win for Baturi ahead of Taris and Ciruti. The first Motul Extreme rider, Nicola Botu, was 17th. Looking at the GC, we see that Ciruti is still in the lead. Baturi takes back his second place from Taris, and Born, Griti, and Vaudan make up the top six. Onto the cars and for the second day in a row it was the Austrian Peter Brabeck Lemat who took the win in the Africa Eco Race Classic. Eric Claes of Belgium is still the overall leader. Amongst the trucks, yet another stage victory for Thomas Tomacek. Last year's truck winner, the Czech driver, takes his third stage win of the week but announced at the finish line that, annoyingly, all four tyres are damaged and he'll have to change them tomorrow. Race leader Gauthier Paulin was on top form today at the wheel of his SSV. Restricted to 130 km an hour, the former motocross world champion couldn't compete with the cars that are governed at 170 km an hour. He still managed to come in seventh though. Up near the top and a great day out for an Africa Eco Race stalwart. Imri Varga has been staff on the rally since its inception and today he was second in the stage. After a tricky start to the week, the Hungarian, intensely loyal to this race, is gaining momentum. 
and onwards to an historic day for the Ferrain racing team who bring home a stage win for the first time in their rally raid history. It came courtesy of Belgian rock star Kuhn Waters as he leaves the race tonight to start touring with his band in Rotterdam next week. Before he went, he had this to say in admiration of the Africa Eco Race. I really want to come back. It's that simple. I will come back. Atmosphere is great. The bivouacs are great. The landscapes are magnificent and I hope that anyone thinking about it or have cars that can't keep up with the pros in the Dakar will come here because for us it's such a pleasure. In the rankings today, victory for Kuhn Waters in a time of 3 hours 31 minutes and 53 seconds, which for the first time ever is to the second, the same time as Alessandro Baturi took to finish on his bike, a first in rally raid history. Overall, as we finish up in Morocco, Gauthier Paulin keeps the lead with 2 hours and 9 minutes over Frédéric Henri C. Carlos Vento is third. Thomas Tomacek is the first truck in eighth. That's all for today. Tomorrow is the well-earned rest day in Dakla. After an intense week, the drivers, riders and vehicles need some R&R beside the Atlantic Ocean. And then on Monday, it's full steam ahead into Mauritania for the sixth stage. We'll leave you now, as always, with the best images from today. Bye-bye.